What is up guys, it is Ricky with Raps Game Gaming coming at you with some more Halo 3 gameplay slash commentary. Yeah, that's right, I said it, Halo 3. You know, a lot, I know a lot of my videos here as of late have been about Halo Reach, but honestly guys, I've been kind of burnt out on it and just wanted to bring you some kind of old school stuff. Now, I know I've, I've done uh, one or two Halo 3 videos in the past and I don't even believe they were full uh, matches, but yeah, I just... I've been playing a lot here lately, uh, Halo 3, for the past couple days. I don't know, just really, I'm getting burnt out on Reach. I've been playing, it's the same maps over and over and over and over again. And, you know, I just wanted to, you know, hit the refresh button, you know, kind of get my Halo juices flowing again and go back to, to Halo 3. And uh, I got to tell you, it has been pretty rocky, I'm not going to lie. I've gotten so used to reach controls and just going back to Halo 3, you know, I'll, I'll be hitting the sprint button hoping to, you know, run up into battle and, you know, then I end up switching my grenades and I'm like, what the hell? You know, I don't know. It's just getting back into the groove of Halo 3 kind of took a little bit, but here I finally did. I had a pretty decent game here. You know, it, I really... For a big part of why I wanted to play some Halo 3 is to, you know, kind of cure that nostalgia itch, you know, and I don't know, it it's pretty good. I mean, if you can get a full game lobby, you know, it just getting to play a game is half the battle, and then once you even do start playing a game, half the people quit. I mean, if you've played Halo 3 here lately, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. Just nobody really plays the game anymore unless there are people like me, you know, specifically going into it. You know, either because they're tired of Reach or they want a nostalgia, you know, I don't know what you would call it. So, something to do with nostalgia, something like that anyways. Or, you know, just, you know, little kids who have heard, you know, older people talking about how good the glory days of Halo were back in Halo 3 days. And, you know, now you can download Halo, you know, straight to your hard drive. For like 30 bucks I believe it is and that's actually pretty cool you know if you don't have the Halo 3 you can't find it anywhere at GameStop or you know EB Games or anywhere you can just download it straight off the internet straight to your hard drive which is kind of cool but um, yeah what I really kind of want to talk to you guys about today is you know I don't know I, I don't think I can be the only one who's getting tired of, of playing Reach just playing the same maps over and over I think if they like kind of refreshed it came out with some new DLC packs you know that weren't or you know rather than just making new maps in forge world and actually come out with new maps i think that would be really cool but you know really at this point that wouldn't make any sense especially with halo 4 fixing to come out um you know i i don't know guys i am just i'm so ready for halo 4 it's it's crazy you know just going back to halo 3 like just one of the main things that i noticed off of the like right off the bat is how much more floaty and spacey that halo 3 feels to reach i don't know like reach you felt more you know on the ground and this one i don't know like when you jump it's like 10 feet in the air and i don't know it's really cool like I, I really am excited for Halo 4 because it's going to be a, ma a mix and match between the best parts of Halo 3 and the best parts of Halo Reach, you know. And I find myself just getting giddy just of the thought of Halo 4 coming out in November because uh, just last night they released a like a weapons trailer. Uh, they actually had two. One of them was it had music, and the other one had just like the the gun sounds of the the UNSC weapons. Um, and you know they they showed the standard ones, you know, the battle rifle, DMR. Um, and like the assault rifle things like that, but they actually sound, show some new ones um, The first one which people knew about it was called the uh, I think it was just called the pistol rocket or the rocket pistol one of the two But it's actually like a, I think they called it a sticky detonator And you can like shoot it on the ground and what it looks like is you can kind of hold it just like the grenade launcher Like kind of delay the explosion But instead of it bouncing it'll actually stick to the ground wherever you shoot it and then once you let go uh, this is just judging by the gameplay, by the way, that once you let go, um, it'll blow up, so you can kind of, I don't know, have like a, a C4 trap of sorts, you know, waiting for your enemies at like like a flag or something like that, so that's going to be really cool to use. Uh, another thing is the saw, and what that is is like a, like a light machine gun, or like a heavy machine gun, like a really huge, just, I don't know, like something you would see Arnold Schwarzenegger using, and they were just mowing people down, like it was like extremely powerful from what it looks like. You know, it's like an assault rifle on crack. Like, oh man, it looks awesome. And, you know, I don't think that's actually going to be like a like something you start off with. That may be something you get in the ordnance drop, like in uh, Infinity Slayer. It would be like a power weapon, like a sniper rifle or a rocket launcher or something like that. 
and you know that just looks freaking awesome but one that I'm really really excited about is the rail gun this is another one that they showed and what it is is kind of like a portable gauze cannon but uh, you have to kind of charge it up like you have to hold the trigger to let the, the the spool spin and then once it you know gets to where you can shoot it you let go and it shoots out like a gauze you know cannon type projectile and just you can just one shot anybody and you know like stop a warthog dead in its tracks you know if you can bring it down low enough and oh dude that that that, that just made me all giddy like a schoolgirl. and you know they they haven't even released anything about the covenant or the uh promethean so there's no telling how many other cool weapons we're gonna have and one other thing just going back to that uh <clears throat> unsc trailer for all the different weapons they actually did show I, I saw the video i can't remember exactly which one it was now but uh in like one frame of the video like you can actually see a promethean pistol type weapon uh you know it's still orange it looks like it's kind of just pieced together like floating together like the scatter shot and the light rifle were um so i mean from what it looks like there's gonna be a whole wide array of promethean weapons also you know not just the ones that you know they showed us so far like i said the, the light rifle and the scatter shot um but yeah today my question to you guys is is what is going to be your favorite weapon set to see you know which one are you most excited for i mean are you you, you cool with the unac weapons they show the are you looking forward to the covenant weapons or the new promethean weapons which i'm personally excited to see more of those um but yeah let me know about that in the comment below guys and uh, you know as always thanks for watching um please go ahead and check out my twitter it's uh twitter.com at raps gaming and uh, you know, I, you know, you can check out all my latest updates there. You know what games I'm playing. If you want to hop in a lobby with me or something like that, you know, check out my Twitter if you want to do that. That'd be you know really awesome. But uh, yeah, guys, thanks again for watching. Rap Skyda. Illuminati stands for like light or enlightenment, right? And they basically. It's a group or the leaders of basically all the world powers like England and uh, America and people like that. And basically they control the world. Yeah. Like, things like, happen for a reason. Yeah, like they're supposedly, like they control the media, the oil, you know, basically your, your everyday life.